Over the past two weeks, a silent war has been declared in Nyeri County. A war pitting men against women as well as husbands against wives. At least two women in the central Kenyan county last week chopped off the genital organs of their men, causing a stir across the country. And now an enterprising businessman in Nairobi's Koinanga Street has seemingly come up with an ingenious way of ensuring men keep their genitals safe in the event of a disagreement with their women. He has invented an anti-chopping gear, a metallic wear which prevents the genitals from any harm but seemingly comfortable to sleep and sit in, a good option for the men in fear of an attack. Nilipoona hii mambo ya nyeri inatendeka na, wanaume kukatwa siri zao za mali pao banyeti nikaona kwamba nikitenza kitu kama hii niweke kwa display itaanza kuwapatia wanaume kwamba wanaweza kujikinga mali yao Bare Apio says demand for his gear is slowly picking up na watu wamependelea sana hata nimepata order nyingi sana wanaume wanataka kununua kitu kama hii ili waitumie nyumbani kwao Curious shoppers have been flocking a Pio's shop to catch a glimpse of the intriguing invention. But what exactly do they think about the gear? This is not a very bad idea. You should get one and when you go drinking and car, when you come back and uh, you, like you black out, you, at least you know you're protected. Your private parts are not going to be cut off. I think this was just for fun. I don't think anyone should do this as in it's insane, it's weird. A customer seeking to purchase the gear has to place an order and have his measurements taken. The gadget should be worn on top of other clothing to make it a bit more comfortable. It comes with a padlock too, to ensure total security. But one has the discussion on where to keep the key. Apio is shocked by the attention created by his new innovation with one piece going for 1,200 shillings. Whether it's a fact or fiction, it's hoped that the device will bring a big relief to the endangered men in Nyeri. Abika Hothia K24 Evening Edition.